Welcome to Stack Tracker. In this tutorial, we're exploring GoodNotes 6, what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to take smarter digital notes. By the end of these 15 minutes, you'll know your way around the interface, the main tools, and how to create and organize your notebooks like a pro. Let's get started. Let's discover what GoodNotes 6 is. We'll start by opening the official website. GoodNotes 6 is designed to turn your iPad into a powerful digital notebook, one that feels just like writing on paper, but with all the advantages of modern technology. You can handwrite with your Apple Pencil, type notes, insert images or diagrams, and even import PDFs to annotate directly. Everything you create in GoodNotes stays beautifully organized. You can group notebooks into folders, tag them, and instantly search for any word, even in your own handwriting. And with iCloud Sync, your notes are always available on your iPad, iPhone, or Mac. Now let's open the app and explore how it actually works. When you launch GoodNotes 6, you'll start on the library screen. This is your main dashboard. Here, all your notebooks, folders, and documents are neatly organized in a clean and simple layout. You'll see several sections. The document section contains all your notebooks and imported files. The favorite section lets you mark certain notebooks for quick access. In the shared section, you can find documents that you've shared with friends or collaborators. And finally, the marketplace is where you can explore and purchase ready-made notebooks, templates, and other useful add-ons. Let's press the new button. Here, you can create several different types of items, a notebook, a document, a whiteboard, or even a folder to organize your files. You can also import existing files from your device or cloud storage. For now, let's choose to create a new notebook. This is where you'll start building your own digital notebook, choosing its cover, paper style, and layout to suit your needs. When you tap New Notebook, a setup window will appear. Here, you can customize how your notebook will look and feel before you start using it. First, choose a cover design. GoodNotes offers a variety of built-in styles, from simple and minimalistic to colorful and creative themes. You can always change the cover later if you want a different look. Next, pick your paper template. You can choose from blank, lined, dotted, grid, Cornell notes, planner pages, and more. These templates help you adapt your notebook for different purposes, like journaling, studying, sketching, or planning. Then select the paper size, such as A4, A5, or letter, or define a custom size that fits your workflow. Some templates are available for free, while others can be downloaded from the GoodNotes marketplace. Finally, give your notebook a name to help you keep your library organized. Once you're done customizing, tap Create, and your new notebook will open. You now see the newly created notebook. It opens with a cover page and a blank first page, ready for you to start writing, sketching, or taking notes right away. If you tap the Page Overview button, you'll see all the pages in your notebook displayed as thumbnails. Let's add a new page. From this view, you can easily add new pages, rearrange their order, or manage them individually. You have full control over each page. You can duplicate a page, export it as a file, or delete it if you no longer need it. This gives you the flexibility to keep your notebook perfectly organized and tailored to your needs. Let's explore the GoodNotes tools, starting with the Pen tool, one of the most essential and frequently used features in GoodNotes. There are three types of pens you can choose from, fountain pen, ball pen, and brush pen. Each one behaves differently and is designed for a specific purpose. The fountain pen is great for everyday writing and sketching. It produces elegant, smooth strokes that look natural, almost like real ink on paper. You can easily adjust the line thickness, change the stroke style, solid, dashed, or dotted, and select any color you like. GoodNotes provides a wide range of preset colors ready for you to use right away. If you want something more specific, you can create your own custom colors to match your personal style.
You can also use the color picker tool to grab any color directly from your screen, perfect for matching, matching colors from images or imported documents. And finally, you can reorder your color palette to keep your favorite or most used shades at the top for quick and easy access. The ball pen creates clean, even lines, perfect for precise writing, neat notes, or drawing diagrams. Its thickness stays consistent, no matter how hard you press. The brush pen is pressure sensitive. The harder you press, the thicker and more expressive the line becomes, making it ideal for calligraphy, hand lettering, and artistic sketches. In the top left corner, you'll find the undo and redo buttons. They let you quickly reverse or restore your last actions. The next tool is the eraser. Before we explore its features, let's draw something first to see how it works in action. GoodNotes includes three types of erasers, each designed for a different level of control. The first one is the precision eraser. It allows you to erase with fine accuracy, which is perfect for cleaning up small details or fixing just a tiny part of a drawing. You can also adjust the eraser size, making it easier to control how much area you remove at once. The second one is the standard eraser, which works like a regular eraser. Great for quickly removing larger areas of ink or sketches. And finally, there's the stroke eraser. Instead of erasing pixel by pixel, this one removes an entire stroke or line with a single tap. In the toolbar, you'll find a quick drop-down menu that lets you switch between these eraser types at any time. The next tool is the standard pencil. This tool is designed to feel like a real pencil, perfect for sketching, shading, or handwriting that looks more natural. The standard pencil responds to pressure and tilt, so the harder you press, the darker and thicker your line becomes. Tilting your stylus lets you create soft shading, just like with a real pencil on paper. The next tool is the highlighter. It's ideal for emphasizing important information, marking text, or adding a bit of color to your notes. You can choose from a wide range of colors and thickness levels, depending on how strong or subtle you want your highlights to be. The highlighter also includes a straight line mode, allowing you to draw perfectly even lines. Great for underlining, sectioning content, or keeping your notes neatly organized. The tape tool is perfect for temporarily covering parts of your notes. For example, to quiz yourself, hide answers, or focus on specific sections of the page. You can drag the tape across your notes to hide text, images, or drawings. It can be resized, moved, or removed at any time. The tape tool doesn't erase or delete your content. It simply masks it, allowing you to reveal it later. The next tool is the lasso tool. It allows you to quickly select any handwritten notes, shapes, or images on the page. Simply draw a circle around the area you want to select, and then you can move, resize, copy, or delete it. You can also change the color of your handwriting, convert it to text, or take a screenshot of the selected part. Uh, it's an incredibly handy tool for organizing and editing your notes with precision and flexibility. The next tool is the text tool. Just tap on the page where you want to add text and a text box will appear. You can then start typing right away. The text tool lets you change the font, size, color, and alignment, so you can format your text exactly how you like. You can also move or resize the text box at any time, making it easy to organize your notes neatly. Typing is great, but GoodNotes also supports handwriting. To activate this feature on your iPad, go to Settings, then turn on Scribble. Um, it's a built-in Apple feature that lets you write by hand anywhere you'd normally type. Once Scribble is enabled, you can simply write directly into the text box with your Apple Pencil, and your handwriting will be automatically converted into typed text. The conversion follows the language you've selected on your iPad, ensuring your handwriting is recognized accurately. The next tool is the Elements tool. It allows you to quickly add reusable content to your notes, like stickers, symbols, arrows, or even text boxes. You can also create your own custom elements from anything you've drawn or written and save them into collections.
This is especially useful for items you use often, such as checklists, headings, labels, or icons, helping you keep your notes consistent and efficient. The next tool is the image tool. It lets you add images directly to your notes, perfect for including photos, diagrams, or screenshots. You can import images from your photos library, files, or drag and drop them from another app. Once added, images can be moved, resized, or rotated anywhere on the page. GoodNotes also allows you to crop images in two ways. The first is rectangular crop, which trims the image into a clean rectangular shape. The second is freehand crop, which lets you cut around uh, objects or handwriting for more precise adjustments. Another useful feature in GoodNotes is the shape tool. Just draw something and hold your stylus for a moment. Uh, GoodNotes will automatically recognize your drawing and turn it into a clean, perfectly shaped figure. After the shape is created, you can change its size or position and even adjust the shape itself to fit your layout perfectly. You can also customize the line thickness and color, just like with the pen or highlighter tools. It's especially handy for creating clean diagrams, charts, graphs, or geometric drawings with a professional look. A great tool for keeping your notes neat, structured, and visually organized. You can also draw arrows to connect ideas, emphasize key points, or guide attention to specific parts of your notes. They're especially useful when creating mind maps, process flows, or visual explanations. In addition, there are several predefined geometric figures available, such as circles, rectangles, triangles, and arrows. Another handy feature in GoodNotes is the laser pointer. It's especially useful when presenting or explaining something on your iPad screen. There are also different styles of laser pointers available, for example, a simple glowing dot or a trail effect that follows your movement. GoodNotes also includes an audio recording feature. It allows you to record voice notes directly within your notebook. To start recording, simply tap the microphone icon and GoodNotes will begin capturing the audio while you continue writing or drawing. Everything you record stays linked to your notes, so you can easily play back the recording later and follow along with what you wrote at that moment. The next feature is the Zoom window. It allows you to write with greater precision, especially when working on detailed notes or small handwriting. When you enable the zoom window, a magnified section of your page appears at the bottom of the screen. You can write comfortably inside this zoomed in area while GoodNotes automatically shifts the window forward as you continue writing. The next feature is the ruler. It helps you draw perfectly straight lines and precise angles, just like using a real ruler on paper. You can move, rotate, or adjust the ruler to any position on the page, then use the pen or highlighter tool to draw along its edge. Um, you can also switch between inches and centimeters, depending on which measurement system you prefer. Um, it's especially useful for keeping your notes organized, aligning elements, or adding structure to technical sketches and layouts. The last interesting feature I want to share is the ability to make your notebook read only. This feature prevents accidental edits, keeping your notes exactly as you created them. When a notebook is in read only mode, you can still open and browse through its pages, but you can't write, erase, or make any changes until you turn the mode off. And that's it. These are some of the most useful and powerful features that make GoodNotes such an amazing app for note-taking, studying, and organizing your ideas. So I hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching my tutorials. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe. See you later. Bye.